What's up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilbur Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dee. We back with another great video. Before we dive in, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell. Uh, so we've been on this roasting, ring -a -ding -a -ding -a roasting uh, journey, I guess you call it. Everybody's just getting roasted around here. So who did we watch get roasted? Snoop Dogg yesterday. The day before that, somebody else got roasted. It's funny that we did that with Snoop Dogg yesterday because our son this morning, he was so intrigued to tell us that if we knew... He was like, did you know Snoop Dogg was on a wrestler on WWE? And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, come look. And he showed us, and not Snoop Dogg really in there wrestling. His, but it was when his younger days. Like his little bones broke. And I, no, he won. And I bet he did. <laughs> he won the match. But it's because he was helping a little person. I bet he did. So it was him and a little person against, like, a, you know, a top person. I bet. But he was really in there, and I was like, what a coincidence. Why is he lasted? What a coincidence. So, this person, I don't know if we reacted to this person before, though. Greg Giraldo. I don't think so. No, name don't is, sound it's not ringing a bell. But he roasted Patrice O'Neal. Who's that? The comedian, the black dude. You'll see him when he comes uh, out. Yeah, I'm good with faces and not names. You'll see. Greg Giraldo, a big hand for Greg Giraldo. I'm just going to keep that there, 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 man. You definitely won the thing, the house. You definitely won. You you are so fucking cocky since you came back. You're walking around like you're five foot seven. Ever since the thing ended. You're a cocky motherfucker. And that show is a fucking disgrace. I swear to God, I wanted to be good spirited about it, but I can't. That show is a fucking humiliation. Bro. That show is done, it's done everyone fucking begging and clawing for public acceptance, desperate and pathetic. It's done it's done worse things for comedians, public image than Modi's USO tour. <laughs> You're an inspiration, boss. Seriously, you really are. You proved that that even with diction like a like a like a fucking mallard and bowling pin for teeth, if you if, if you stay positive and work hard after 20 years, you can beat out six open micers for a spot on the most brilliant show. Can you all see the picture on the front of this lectern? They fucking they, they, they stole it from a memorial service for a fat <laughs> crip that was shot in a drive by in Man, I'm, shocked, I'm shocked at how mean people are being, Patrice. I thought I didn't like them. I mean, you know, you honestly, I've said this, I've always said this. You are an incredibly funny coon. I've always said that. <laughs> I can't believe the hostility that people do. <laughs> this is good. This is, uh, this is fun. It's really good to be here. What's that? Sorry about that crypt thing. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Are you starting on you now? Well, this is, uh, this is good. I, uh, who, else, who else do we need to discuss? I have uh, a lot of uh, half-finished uh, fucking ideas up here. Bobby Kelly, it's good to see Bobby Kelly here with his whole fucking audio-visual presentation. He's, he's used to carrying a lot of shit all Dane Cook's golf clubs. So he's used to carrying a lot of shit. Dane Cook himself couldn't be here because he was home. Dane Cook was home remembering all kinds of hilarious shit that happened when we were kids. How do you insult the guy who hires hookers to piss in his face? You know what, I mean? what do you say? This chin has seen more noxious fluids than Lisa Lampanelli's panty shield. Contract's almost up, and I can already see the handwriting on the wall for how this is gonna play out. And one of the funniest, fucking most insightful guys I've ever met, but uh, but he got so much fucking hate mail to me. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. People just hated him. They sent all kinds of hostile, horrible shit, and uh, and I didn't agree with any of it except for the stuff about him being gay. <laughs> I never noticed how fucking gay like he 
was. I really did. You never noticed. And then all of a sudden you read, like, he's got those gay hand mannerisms. And it's true. When he picks something up at the table, he looks like fucking Mario Cantone in Oregon. <laughs> Central presents Keith Robinson. <laughs> that shit was funny, dude. <laughs> now what else? We got Todd Lynn is here, of course, he's always complaining about the man keeping him down. We have a lot of arguments about that. Todd thinks it's all racism keeping him down. Todd, you've had fucking how many deals have you had already? Have you watched yourself? You're, you're about as fucking interesting as fucking rectal herpes, for Christ's sake. <laughs> but how many deals have you had? Holy shit, saying you need more breaks is like saying Bill Burr needs more forehead. <laughs> It's supposed to be mean. It's a roast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're psychopath. I know. Why are they even interrupting him? Wow. Let's just get to Patrice. How about that? Here we the humanity of the hour. Let's get out. Let's just get to Patrice. How about that? The manatee of the hour. I really got no problem with Patrice. I mean, actually, I'm actually sort of envious of his lifestyle. Like, I wish I could just travel all over the world, leaving a trail of flat hookers in my wake. <laughs> <laughs> He's always trying to make me feel shitty about my own life, about being married with kids. I'm like, yeah, I, I, I wish I didn't have that. I wish I could get on a plane for 14 hours with three greasy comics and two giant creepy chews. <laughs> you know, you know, to go back some athletic slum dweller. She's got to struggle as hard as she can not to have a disgusted look on her face as she wipes her milky load off her chin. Why are you describing this? Don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. Yeah, you make yourself a little kid to eat tonight. Just don't fucking puke. Don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. Don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. Fucking boss over there in Rio acting like a player, taking his 200 bucks from the VFW weekend gig. I'm like, ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that is, that, how fucking annoying is it with that little hook you got now? Like, I'm too big, fuck, I'm too big for that. I'm too big for that. I'm a headliner. I'm a fucking headliner. You always you never finish a sentence, which is at the ground round this Friday night. <laughs> I have no idea if this has been too much or too little. It's been too, too much. I really can't tell if this is going to be a fucking There was the other one I wanted to do that we talked about before, but I think that, yeah. Do it! Do it! Let's just get back to, uh, let's just get back to, uh, to Patrice for one split second. I do, uh, I do respect Patrice. I think you're a funny, funny guy. I think you're, uh, you're, uh, you know, a truth teller. <laughs> And, uh, but you know what, I'm getting a little tired of defending you, seriously. Everywhere I go, people come up to me like, Hey, who is that stupid, fucking, ignorant, uninformed, fat motherfucker on top of Who's that Damn. big, fucking, gorilla, dumbass, and never had a paper that knows fucking nothing in the world? Who's that stupid motherfucker, <laughs> that big, fat cunt sitting next to you? This is people, Patrice, I'm telling you. <laughs> who is that uninformed, stupid, oh motherfucking, God. worthless bag of shit? <laughs> and I always stand up for you. I defend you all the time. I tell you gotta remember, the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> Thank you very much. Out of everything I said, this is out of everything. Oh my god. I can't sit through something like that. Like, it being me, I, I, I can't just sit there These and roast be roasted. These roasts is disrespectful, though. No, but I, I don't know how they 
don't know. How do y'all know about all these roast videos? I I've never seen any. I always laugh at the laughter. Uh, always laugh at the laughter in the back because wonder, it's always that one person who has that, that laugh out of the world laugh, and it. it's just like, sir, it is not that funny. So I know this video was old, but it made me think of like the Snoop Dogg one. If half of this stuff don't make it to TV, because you always get like the little PG like roasting, like Kevin Hart. Why didn't it make it to TV? Because they be going off like that. Like they ain't gonna put. I'm saying like. I feel like this is the stuff behind the scenes we don't see. Like, yeah. the Snoop Dogg roasting and all that. Like, this roasting is harsh. It ain't like your straight, normal comedy. They go in. I mean, yeah. Are they friends at the end of the day roasting like this? They, they I roasting told Todd, I told him, I've always wanted to go to one where, like, they do the stand-up. But my thing is, like, I laugh, but I don't, like, hysterically laugh like this one. Like, it literally has to be really funny for me to, like, It reminds laugh me of like our this. roasted days. But I pay, like, me and my friends, it just get personal. Like, we I'm just, just like a... <laughs> Like, when we used to know, roast in high like, school, like, we used to roast in high school like this. And then we'd be mad at each other for a couple hours. Like, because the roast gets serious. So you hit you hit nerves. Yeah, it got to that point. But we didn't throw no hands. And I'm going to talk about, remember, remember, remember that show, Yo Mama? Yes. No, we was 10 times worse. I'm just saying, they had that on TV. So it gets to the point, like, you don't talk for a few hours. And then you got to come back. You're like, all right, I was just roasting, bro. My bad. You know, I took it too No, because I feel like. Then the next day, you roasting again. You roasting again. Because you know that saying, like, how they say, like, drunk thoughts or drunk words of sober thoughts or something like that where like if you're drunk you're really speaking the truth i feel like when you're roasting i feel like this is shit that you want to tell your friends but you can't because they're your friends so you're gonna roast it and talk shit about them exactly like that's so disrespectful it got crucial in our group we used to go ham oh my gosh that's where bullying came from that is where bullying came from fucking roasting <laughs> you know hey roasting. it got bad when a hand came out like this when a hand came out like this you start roasting when you start doing this that's when you know the roast the best of the best jokes about to come out like that means you struck a nerve this person this hand has came out and now they about to flame you you about to get flamed that's exactly what's about to happen uh, go like... watch any roasting that gets serious i guarantee that at any moment you're gonna see the hand come in there and be like boy <laughs> and that's how you know friendship is off the table it's about to get real mm, it's too but this roasting is like I, it make me think after but we friends after this we might have to take a few hours off because you just went in on me on the stage i would have to grab a mic honestly if i was that's patrice, okay. I came up, I look here like bro patrice should have got up you a little bit he roasted me like and this. then the other guy on the other he's side like played. he's just turning red laughing his ass off and whoever was in the crowd with that laugh mm -hmm. they probably understood uh, they probably felt they were patrice <laughs> that that like, boy. they lived the life <laughs> Mm -mm. But keep these coming. I like these. If y'all can find some more roast videos, keep them coming because these is funny Child as hell. loves them. But thank y'all for tuning back in with us once again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that good stuff. We'll see you guys in our next one.